Okay, today I'm opening a, uh, let's see, Series 2 Upper Deck. Let me see what year this is. Uh, I've, uh, 1994, I believe. I saw these at my, yeah, 1994. I'm just wearing gloves because, not because there's value, super valuable cards, but just because my fingers look disgusting. I got done working on my car. Anyway, this is still sealed. still has the Upper Deck uh, ceiling on it. Uh, Michael Jordan Trophy. I grew up in the 90s, so this will be some some fun cards, too. Scotty Pippen, some fun cards to open. Steve Smith, I think he's an announcer now, or a commentator. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal, another Jordan card. Mookie Blaylock. Doug Christie. What's it back here? Uh, nothing. And on the back we have Bobby Hurley. Don't know who that is. Sacramento Kings. Uh... Yeah, just wearing gloves because I was working on my car earlier, and I don't want you to see how gross my fingers are. Um, this will be fun. Fun walk down memory lane. Let's open this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was like 5 or $10 uh, at my local comic book shop. I was like, oh, this will be fun. And they sell for like $25, $30 on eBay, so... Should be a lot of fun. The hologram sticker on the official basketball purple. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, and it folds up. It's got the rim. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Let's uh, do that correctly. Holographically enhanced. Very cool. Very cool. This looks like a lot of fun. Put your seatbelts on. Let's get going. Let's see how many cards per pack? 12 cards per pack. Holographically enhanced. Ooh, what does that mean? Collect all 10 Michael Jordan, Mr. June insert cards. Maybe they couldn't say Mike. I don't know. Mr. June. That's weird. Uh, odds of finding a pack contained in MJ, Mr. June. 1 in 30. Whatever. Let's go. Let's get going. <laughs> Any bubble gum in here? No, that's baseball. Larry Christawiga. Get, putting an elbow on Dennis Rodman. Larry Chris Kowiak. I'm going to be going slow too, probably looking at really enjoying it. From Montana, injured, did not play. Bucks, Jazz, 1964, 6-9-er. Kevin Gamble. Some of these guys I know, some I don't. Went to Iowa, 6-5. Played at the Celtics. Sleepy Floyd. Played at Georgetown, 6-3. We got here Ken Norman, Bucks, Illinois, six eight, Greg Graham, Charlotte played for the Pacers, hmm. Richard Petruska, Houston Rockets, six ten, man, Loyola, UCLA. Transfer student, Herb Williams. Oh, I see a Charles Bart. Wait. Michael K. Oh, there was two stuck together. Michael Cage, 6'9", San Diego State. There was Sean Kemp in the background. Uh, this one is a Herb Williams, 6'11". These guys are all huge. Herb Williams, where do he play? Mavericks, Pacers, Mavericks. went to Ohio State. Ah, uh, Charles Barkley. Let's see, at the end of his career, I think he went to the Rockets because he really wanted to try to win a... He was getting jealous of Jordan. Suns, McDonald's open, upper deck. Munchen. Faced with challenge of helping Phoenix become the sixth NBA team to make... Take the home, the championship trophy. McDonald's, blah, blah, blah. Vin Baker. These cards are kind of stick together. What you get from 1994 to 2019. 
finish his career at Hertford's. Rodney Rogers, Denver Nuggets. Ooh, a Patrick Ewing, Skylights. Cool, very cool. Patrick Ewing. A presence that is almost as imposing as the Empire State Building. Ha ha ha, Patrick Ewing has been the mainstay in the middle for the New York Knicks for the past eight seasons. Seven-footer has led the Knicks in scoring while helping New York try to get to the finals, win a championship. Following Michael Jordan's announced retirement, Ewing's chance of bringing the ultimate celebration to the city that never sleeps may not be far off. Dream on. Hard to read that text, that text font. Uh, Jared Mustaf. I like those vintage Suns jerseys. These cards are stuck together, maybe? No. Lindsey Hunter. Oh, Shaquille O'Neal. Very cool. Shaquille O'Neal. Not a very uh, glamorous picture. More than just another rookie to come forward in 92-93, O'Neal exploded onto the NBA scene with his play. Considered the most imposing player to enter the league since Wilt Chamberlain in 1959-1960, O'Neal brought down the house in every arena he played. It didn't take long for him to make his mark in the NBA. On opening night, 92-93, Shaq pulled down 18 boards against Miami, posting the highest rebound total by a rookie since Bill Walton in 1974. With his first season such a hit, O'Neal leaves a lot to look forward to for basketball fans everywhere. Very good. Went on to have a lot of success at in L.A. Georgia Lynch, 6'7", North Carolina. Utah, Josh Grant, 6'10". Man, these guys are humongous. Benoit Benjamin, Clippers, Clippers, Sonics, went to Crichton, Creighton. Uh, Yale, Chris Dudley, how tall is he, a 6'11", all these guys are humongous, 6'6", six, six, Mark Aguirre, Greer, Clippers, Ron Sikeli, Miami Heat, 6'11", played at Syracuse. 6'11", Tony Kukoc, played in Italy, came over to the NBA. That's a young-looking picture of him. Is that Gary Payton there? Very cool. Pooh Richardson, played UCLA, 6'1". Funny, that 6'1 seems short in the NBA. These packs are fun to open. Is that Manute Bowl? It is. Manute Bowl. Manute Bowl. I think he lost a lot of money in gambling, but his son is playing basketball these days. I've seen his son on YouTube. Warrior 76ers, Bridgeport. 7'7". Seven 7'7". Seven. Seven seven. Another Kevin Gamble. Rick Fox wait, later went out to L.A. Played for the Lakers. And he got into like, acting in movies. 6'7", North Carolina Celtics. I saw him in a Lifetime movie recently. <laughs> Moses Malone. Oh, we got two connected. That gloss on these 1994 cards. 6'10", Eddie Johnson. 6'7", played at Illinois. JoJo English played at South Carolina. Don't remember him. A lot of these guys I don't remember. Isaiah Ryder. Ooh, we got a Michael Jordan. I see it there already. Isaiah Ryder. Look at that cool haircut there. Drafted Minnesota. Let's see. Luther Wright. Some 
some of these cards. These cards like to stick together. And Allen Houston. Let's get to the Jordan. Ooh, very cool. Michael Jordan Skylights. Look at those shoes.